In a landmark moment, Greece has become the first Orthodox Christian country to legalize same-sex marriage. A majority of lawmakers voted in favor of a bill on Thursday, February 15th, after decades of campaigning by LGBTQ rights activists. Same-sex partnerships have been legal in Greece since 2015, but now same-sex couples can get married as well as legally adopt children. However, the law still bans gay couples from becoming parents through surrogacy, which is allowed for women who can't have children due to medical reasons. Greece's prime minister, who had pushed for the law, called it a milestone for human rights, saying it will end a serious inequality in the country. Greece has now become the 16th European Union country and the first in Southeastern Europe to achieve marriage equality. Follow for more stories from around the world. In a land All right. So, hey, my brother's... Uh you know, that's the that's the skinny for today. You know what I'm saying? Really, it was yesterday, but, you know, I've been meaning to... I really got to change this out. Uh, yeah, this is wild. So, this is what it is here. So, it says, um, I looked it up, Greece and gay marriage. So, it says, Greece becomes first orthodox country to legalize same-sex marriage, all right? Now, let's look at the, in the New York Times and see this. Uh, Greece, same-sex marriage. Boom, see, it's like, it's like a top thing, man. It's PBS, the Washington Post, AP News, Reuters. Meanwhile, there's goddamn wars out here. You feel me? There's wars out here. People dying out here. All right. You got goddamn uh, Ukraine bombing the shit out of Russia. Russia bombing the shit out of Ukraine. You know what I mean? You got Israel bombing the shit out of the Gaza Strip. Um, you know, Hamas shooting rockets and shit into Israel, killing and running around in hospitals. And then you got these goddamn demons out here. <laughs> You know, legalizing same-sex marriage. And it says here, church leads hateful, twisted campaign against gay marriage. Now, there's nothing hateful or twisted about that. That's actually love onto true, regular people. Because you're not supposed to be doing that bullshit. You know, the Lord said that those abominations, really, you're supposed to be put to death for doing that. This is out of Athens. It says, um... Greece is expected to legalize same-sex weddings this week in a vote due to uh, be held the day after Valentine's Day. Now, bear in mind, my brothers, I did the video on Valentine's Day. It didn't get many hits because it was like 12 o'clock at night. But go back and watch it. because It was very, very telling about what it really is. Because Lupercalia goes up until the 15th. The 15th is the actual day. Of that wickedness. That's why they disguised it as the 14th. And most people are having sex well into the 15th. Doing the ritual. They're having the doing the ritual. That they don't understand that they're doing. It's a ritual that. Is basically to three deities. And if you watch my video. You'll find out about it. I'm not going to go into it right now. But you need to find out about how evil Valentine's Day is. And this all ties into it. So it says not everyone is feeling the love. <laughs> However, the, the Greek Orthodox Church has become an outspoken and powerful opponent of the changes. Even though the bill isn't forcing the priests to marry gay people and has nothing to do with the church. It has it is church officials uh, who have been the loudest opponents with bishops appearing on television programs, making outdated and false accusations, calling homosexuality a mental illness and suggesting that gay men and women are sick and only the church can heal them. But you know what? That is actually true. You know, they are sick with demons. You know what I mean? They have demonic forces on them. And that's sent by the Heavenly Father. Now, you may not agree with that, but that's the truth. All right. The Lord rejected them people. He rejected them. And the only way to bring them back is if the Lord would allow that. And then he would allow a real man, the Lord, not no fake ass bishop from some gay ass uh, Christian or Catholic church. Because, listen, those people are soft as hell and they're effeminate. And the effeminate are not going to have an inheritance in the kingdom of heaven. First Corinthians 
6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? And it talks about effeminate in the Christian church and the Catholic church too, concluding the papacy and all of that shit. They are very effeminate. They're not manly and masculine or rough and austere like the Lord was. So that's why you may talk shit about the men of GMS, but guess what? We're, we're austere men and we're rough and raw men, all right? We're tough men spiritually and also in our lives. It's just it's how it is. You think the prophets were some weaklings, little wimpy type looking guys, wimpy acting guys? Nah, you know, puny men, you know, puny in the spirit I'm talking about, not physical stature because the Lord don't care about your physical stature. You don't got to look like some big tough guy. But you got to act a certain way, man. It's just austere. That's how the Lord was. If you are like the Lord in mannerisms, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to be, you're going to also going to be rough like the Lord, man. Right? So anyway, it says, when the bill passes, uh, Greece will be the first Christian Orthodox country with strong roots in religion to allow same-sex marriage. That's how you know this place is in decline. Now, I'm, I'm shocked that they, they were not first. But the reason why they were not first is because America is the, is the true epicenter and axis of evil, all right? They are the epicenter of evil. And, you know, surely these people are supposed to be put to death. I'm going to get into that in a minute. According to the scripture, by law, it's a law to put them to death. All right. All homosexuals, according to the Bible, are supposed to get put to death upon witnessing it. Whether you're holding hands with a man or doing something like that or kissing them. If you're a man or if you're a woman kissing another woman, you're supposed to be rounded up and put to death immediately. In a hurry, in a quick hurry. Right away. Uh, because then other people would fear and it would stop the perpetuation of that. But what they do is they okay it, they authorize it, and they condone it and they celebrate it. Have your fun now because the Lord is going to vaporize you into dust and you're going to die a most tragic and harsh, horrible and deplorable, disgusting death. Just absolutely just magnificent, magnifique, as they would say. <laughs> it says... Um, Ultra-Orthodox and far-right groups protested in central Athens on Sunday against the bill. Among them were many who were holding Greek flags, icons with so-called Jesus and uh, the Virgin Mary, and of course, members of the clergy. Quote, fatherland, religion, family, uh, was one of their slogans. This is ever... Ever since psychiatry removed homosexuality from the list of mental disorders, it gave up on related research, and these unfortunate people were left helpless with only solace, uh, the hope of convenient legislation and assertion of rights, with parades and self-deprecation and shame. Yeah, you shouldn't have any rights. You, you should be gone from the earth, you know, according to the scriptures. So it says, said uh, Nicolaos, Nicolaos, the Metropolitan uh, of Mesogaia, and Levri, Levriotiki, uh, during the meeting of the Greek Church's Holy Snod in late January. These words angered many Greeks who took on social media to express their disapproval and even forced the Hellenic Psychiatric, Psychiatric Salakia uh, Association to release a statement clarifying that homosexuality is not a mental illness. But you know what? It's even worse than that, really. It's demons. You know, let me go to these scriptures now because it's definitely about that time. Uh, abomination. Let me go to mankind, actually. Oh, shit. All 
All right. This is Leviticus 18 and 22. It says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. All right. So it's not a hate or a smear campaign or nothing like that. Like you're trying to make it some type of evil shit. No, it's not evil. You're supposed to hate the evil and love the good. You understand? You're supposed to hate the thing that the Lord hates. And something abominable is something of deep rooted hatred. The Lord abhors that he hates it severely okay so it says leviticus 20 and 13 it says if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them okay so there you have it there you have it my brothers according to the lord all right you want to talk about hatred look the lord he he hates this so much, he's going to put them to death straightway and their blood shall be upon them. Don't forget that. It's not the Lord doing, oh, how dare you pick on them? No, 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 no. They're doing it to themselves. They're forfeiting their right to live by committing abominable acts in the sight of the Lord. Why are you trying to blame other people for what they're doing wrong? Oh, you guys are such bigots. No, no, no. You are violating the scriptures and causing your blood to be upon your own head because it's a violation. There must be law and order. All right. And that's why people hate GMS. And they hate the men of the Lord. They hate the true men of the Lord who are going to condemn this shit. All right. Period. First Corinthians six and nine it says, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves uh, with mankind. All right. Let me try to go into the same thing. Hold on. It says, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. Okay. So there you have it. And such were, this is past tense, some of you in regards to all of those different things and all of those things, man. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by the spirit of our power. Exactly, because when you have that knowledge of the truth, you're not going to continue to be doing that. Your brain's going to be sanctified and you're going to be holy, which means to be set apart, no longer like that. In any way, shape, or form, any of the things mentioned here. Fornicators, spiritually. Idolaters, okay, praying to other gods or giving recognition or worshiping a woman or something like that who is just simply a, a group of atoms. She's just physical. She's a physical creature with the spirit. And remember, you worship in that spirit. The Lord understands that and he sees what you're doing. And when you worship in your woman, oh, don't leave me, baby, no, no. You are, you are giving the credence to her. You're feeding into that. You never should ever worry about a woman leaving you because that's spiritual and everything. All you have to do is ask the Lord. And really, you manifest it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai by speaking things forward like they were basically that were not. You call those things to be as though they were, uh, I forgot how to say it. You know, you call those things to be, you know. Like the scripture says, Hebrews 11 and, uh, and 3, you know, that the things that were seen were made from things which do not appear, all right? And that's spiritual. That's why you just call upon the Lord, man, to, to change your situation, man, and speak positively, man. Affirm affirmations and positive speak is incredibly important, brothers, it was to the point where I was looking for somebody's name or whatever. And I've been doing that, you know what I'm saying? Calling things, in, you know, before it happens. And uh, act a little bit extra lately. And somebody had called me and said, hey, you, you know this person? I'd be like, yeah, I was looking for their number. Just real hard yesterday. He said, hey, give them a call at three o'clock today. I was like, okay. And, it, and this, that's what I wanted to do the day prior. And he don't even know me like that. You know, it was one of the higher up managers or whatever called me at the at the plant. 
I was like, hey, call this client or whatever. Call them, you know what I'm saying? And deal with them because they it's already scheduled for you. I was like, wow, bro, that's just bugged out, man. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Those, those basically the Lord, when you try to worship another God or a person and commit idolatry, the spirit of the Lord is basically aware of that. You know, because we're just clay and water. And that's part of that, man. Idolatry. And, you know, we've committed those sins. Adulterers, you're supposed to be put to death for that. Effeminate, you're supposed to be put to death for that. You know, abusers of themselves or mankind, supposed to be put to death for that. Thieves, you're supposed to pay for that. Covetous, you're supposed to eventually be put to death for that if you don't repent. Well, really, all these, you'll be put to death. Drunkards, you know, same thing. Basically, revelers, you're not going to hear at the kingdom of the Most High. You're going to get put to death at the end of this thing, you know. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Shai, brothers, we're going to basically continue on, you know. But I'm going to go back to um, this. Let me go back to the mankind part, you know. Those who abuse themselves with mankind. You know, because I'm not done with that, bro. All right. All right, matter of fact, let's go to this one about their blood being upon them. All right, and you can't do incest, none of that shit. It's all the same thing. This is disgusting. <laughs> or selling it online, you know what I'm saying? Because people are doing that, they're selling it online. You know, the imagery of a woman kissing another woman like it's something sexy, like it's classy and okay for a woman to do it. You know, but if men do it, they can't do it as disgusting or whatever. It's both disgusting. They're both disgusting. A woman's not supposed to be dealing with a woman, and a man's not supposed to be dealing with no man. And if you do it, you, I'm telling you right now, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is going to put you to death, man. You know, why won't you just listen in? Listen to what we say, man. And you've been rejected, really, that's what it is. Romans 1 and 26 and 27. It says, For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And exactly, that's why they die earlier, okay? Receiving in themselves, meaning you're going to get a plague. You are going to get cancer. You are going to get something like that, like a, a, a hemorrhoid to the point where, you know, something may rupture or you die because the life expectancy of homosexuals is dramatically lower. It's in like the 40s. Or 50s, they don't last past that age. Because why? It's dramatic too. And their cancer rates are drastically higher. Their heart attack rates, everything. I wonder why. Maybe because the scripture says what it says. It says, um, verse 27, Romans 1 and 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with, uh, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense, which is the, the payback of their error, which was meat, which means justified. All right, which was just. So when the Lord pays people back, that's justified, man. So we don't want to see none of this folly shit. All right. Greek church leads hateful, twisted campaign against gay marriage. No, they're, they're, leaving, they're leading a righteous campaign. As far as the actual principle of condemning it. Now, are they righteous people? No. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're a church. <laughs> and the Lord doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. And he's not dealing with these harlot houses, man. Because these, these churches are harlot houses, man. And uh, this guy, the Lord's going to destroy this guy, too. He's going to destroy this man. Mistotakis makes... Uh, Greeks, Mistotakis makes progressive pivot 
with same-sex marriage bill. So he's the guy. This is the, this is the head of it. This is the spearhead right here. The Lord got a judgment for this. This dude look effeminate, man. You know what I'm saying? A man is known by his look. Now, we don't judge just according to that. But based on what he's representing right here, you could really judge the man based on his look now. In accordance, really, in accordance to what he's presenting. Now, not solely based on his look. Because if you see him walking down the street, yeah, he may look a little fruity. But until you verify that, you know what I'm saying? You can't really pass that judgment till you verify it. Unless he's wearing some type of tight leopard, leopard skin leotard or something like that. You know what I mean? You already know what time it is then. Like just because he physically in his face look a little you know, different. You can't really do that. So, you know, got to be um, righteous in judgment. So it says, uh, Greece's Kirikos uh, Miss Misotakis, the EU's highest profile center-right prime minister, is not the most likely candidate to bring in uh, a landmark bill legalizing same-sex marriage planned for a vote next week. So this dude's the prime minister, man. Look at his shit. He like the president of them, man. This is a sad day, man. And again, because it was on February 15th, that's, this is a ritual. They just performed a ritual before your very eyes. And none of you knew about it, man. But I knew about it because I did the video yesterday about it, man. All right? Or the day before. I did the video the day before, Salaki. All right? I did that video on um that day. On so-called Valentine's Day. And they passed this gay marriage thing, man. I was going to do the video yesterday, but, you know, I got caught up with work. Just bad timing. So it says, um, the church is unsurprisingly up in arms. So, yeah, of course, they're supposed to be. With Archbishop, which that dude ain't no bishop. It says, it's I can't pronounce that name. It says, it's most senior uh, cleric. Having said, the topic should go to a national referendum. Yeah, absolutely, it should, though. He, he right on that. Because it's against the scriptures. Is anybody following the scriptures anymore? In this so-called Christian uh, country? Orthodox? That means original. They supposed to be strict and original with their laws and stuff. You know? They're not, though, man. Clearly. So it says metropolitan bishops across the country are organizing rallies on Sunday uh, with Seraphim, the metropolitan of, uh, it says, Piri, Piri, I'm sorry, Slaki, my brothers, I can't even pronounce this shit. It says called gay marriage a sin and warned MPs that those who vote for it cannot remain Members of the church, con. Well, they shouldn't be in that church anyway, but yeah, con. Yeah, this should be some type of repercussion so people feel ashamed of themselves, man. And now you may think, well, why is that? Because I told you the scripture. I showed you the scriptures. I showed you the scriptures. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. It says, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite, of the sons of Israel. And it says, shall be no. So that means it's an order. You, that's an order not to do it, man. All right? So, hey, look, man, on to the next one, man. If you if you think this is right, repent or you die. You're the most high going to kill your ass, man. You know, we're going to get to watch it, man. When you die in a sea of glass, I'm going to get to watch you from the chariots getting burned up and destroyed while we are secured in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. All right? Say, so, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. This is your first time watching this channel. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.